Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Noah Kaplan, the president and founder of Leon Speakers, and we are coming at you live from Leon Loft Studios. 2020 has definitely been a year none of us will forget. We've all had to rely, especially here on our core values, uh, two of them being creativity and optimism, to be able to figure out new ways to connect with the people we were so used to connecting with. We don't have travel, we don't have trade shows, we don't have live performances, but we definitely still have each other. And we so appreciate all the support you've given us all over all these years. And uh, we definitely miss all the people we've had around us. So we transformed the Leon Loft into a now what will be called Leon Live, a full scale broadcast studio. And our vision for this studio is just to be able to share content that is relevant, things that we used to share like live music, connecting with architects and designers, um, product releases, factory tours, visits, interviews, all the things that we were used to. And we figured to kick off this show, we wanted to bring in a very special guest with us today who's been such an important part of the history of Leon Speakers. I'm sitting next to my close friend, Rob Reinhardt of Acoustic Cafe. It's good to be here. It's been a, a long, long road. We haven't seen each other since January. Um, yeah. That was the last Leon Loft show that we did. Uh, G Love of G Love and Special Sauce uh, was here and the room was packed. And it was everything that this room was designed to be. It was exciting. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the talent was engaged, the audience was engaged, they were clapping, standing up, shouting, jumping, all of the things they can't falling. do now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just beautiful. Was. And then uh, we had some uh, great things scheduled for the spring. Uh, Mandy Moore was going to be here, the head and the heart going to be here, uh, and all of that had to cancel Ooh. in March. Breaks my heart yeah. still. I remember seeing those on my calendar. and Plans know, were being made. Plans were yeah. being made. A lot of artists are working on covering full albums and full content. And one of those artists is Devin Gilfillian, who we have a very close affinity with. Um, he was here at the Leon Loft. Last summer. Yeah. And we had the privilege, like we just fell in love with that, them as artists. Um, and the, I, I think that Devin's album, Black Hole Rainbow, is one of the best albums uh, of 2019. One of the new trends this year that I spotted early on is a lot of covers collections. People are doing just songs that they love because they're not seeing their usual collaborative partners, the people that they would co-write with or the other musicians. So they're just settling into the songs that they know and that they love to play. A lot of them you know, do covers as a part of their set anyway. And now they're recording them and putting them out as covers collections, just songs that they love, reconnecting them with music. And Devin actually chose to cover what is now considered to be by Rolling Stone magazine, the most and important album of all time. <laughs> all time number one on Rolling Stone. And there was 500 albums on that. So right. that, was, that was a serious, I don't know if that coordinated with good fortune or good luck, but I mean, I think the timing is impeccable. Why don't we give Devin a call, talk about what he's gonna release, and then maybe we could share with our entire audience. Let's do it. Devin, welcome. It's good to see you. Rob. So good to see you, Noah. It's so good to see you, man. I, I, I'm I'm glad I could we could do this. Lots happened since January, the last time we we saw each other. Oh my God, dude! It, Rob, uh, Noah, it's been it, a cra the craziest year ever in my whole life, I, and and I, and I feel like in everyone's entire lives, you know, you know. So, uh, it, it, so much has happened. So you were here about a year ago. Little more than that, and uh, you know, you played songs from from Black Hole Rainbow. Um, you really only got a couple of months to tour that. It came out in January, and then everything had to stop. Rob, I'm 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 so grateful that I did get it get out ahead of the album, and also I'm grateful that I got to go on the road with Grace Potter for a month and a half, literally right before it all hit the fan. And you know, it was an that that tour was ama It was amazing. It was. You know, we played the Ryman in in Nashville. We played Beacon Theater in New York. All the and Moody Theater in Austin, Texas. Like all these just beautiful, beautiful venues sold out and made a, a ton of fans before 
you know, before it all, it all hit, but, um, definitely was a blow for sure. Just, just like, you know, getting, releasing it and then like immediately being like, just kidding, go home. <laughs> but I, I, there's been, I, I think about all the other artists too, that like released their record on, you know, March 12th <laughs> and, and then it all just, it all shut down, you know? Um, so I, I, it's like one of those things where, Hey, we're all in the same boat, I guess, you know, you, you have a big event coming up. Um, but you were going to do one song uh, for us from black hole rainbow. Um, and it was a song that you did here at the Leon loft last year, uh, called the good life. Yeah. Talk a little bit about, because I'm thinking about this particular song in a new way now, because talk about how it was written versus why it is newly relevant now. You know, it's it's crazy how the song has become more relevant. Um, and I wrote it, you know, two years ago in frustration with the our current leader. And, you know, he was putting bans on, on Muslims coming into the country, you know, dehumanizing Mexican immigrants and, uh, you know, flat out being racist towards people. And um, I wanted to write a song about how beautiful it was that people come from all different places of the earth, celebrate all different religions. And, you know, that's what is so beautiful about this country, all of the colors, you know, and um, I wrote, yeah, it, it, it came out of that, that spirit. Uh, did you want to do that for us now? Yeah. Awesome. Actually, I do. I got my guitar ready. the same when the lion kissed the lamb <clears throat> so it seems in my dreams may it be I'm talking about that good life I can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful Remember when the violence stopped And all the doors were left unlocked And the stranger was your brother Remember when the bank got sold And everybody took their gold But everybody helped each other so it seems in my dreams may it be I'm talking about that good life I can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful I'm talking about that Cause they're beautiful Come on We gotta act A love attack Take your mind back in time Rewind to Eden 
Where we can find peace, Lord, if we're just believing. I'm talking about that good life. can see all the colors show us what it really means to be beautiful I'm talking about that good life where we all have peace we don't shut our doors and tell them all to leave cause they're beautiful well thank you so much um, thank you Rob thank you so next up is this special event um so Rolling Stone now tells us that what's going on is the greatest album of all time. There are a lot of people who've been around for a long time who haven't needed Rolling Stone to tell us that. So, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, 50-year-old classic from uh, from Marvin Gaye. You're going to be recreating this with friends. Yes. Yeah, so we did it. We actually, I recreated it with friends twice. So we went into the studio, into Blackbird studio, and I said, we... I got a bunch of my favorite musicians here in, in, in Nashville and went in and tracked the entire record. Um, and and then for this live stream that we did, um, that we're doing, it's it's at 3rd and Lindsley and we got, I got Jason to come and Amani and, and some friends that are here in Nashville. War, the Warren Treaty came um, and did, did a song with it. And then we also had like friends come and do other protest songs like Aaron Lee Tashin came and, and did his own I Love America More Than You. It's so it's hilarious, such a good song. And then Marcus King came, Lone Bellow. And uh, this is supporting some good work. Um, the Equity Alliance is who you're uh, teaming with on this. Um, this is a Nashville based nonprofit, but um, I'm sure that you picked them for a specific reason. And I know that you were involved with nonprofits in Nashville, uh, you know, before you started your, your career. Um, how did you come to partner with them? You know, I recently discovered Equity Alliance a couple months ago and when people were protesting and, and um, wanted to find an organization that, you know, helped uh, low income and communities of color uh, just with with voting and um, and the vo with the voting suppression that happens in those communities and, and Equity Alliance is uh, they do a great job with that and focus primarily on that and educating um, low income and communities co of color on on the democratic process and um, yeah just anything I can do to fight the voter suppression that's that 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 is happening because people don't realize just how how many obstacles people have to get get through to just to get their ballot in you know well Devin, thank you for taking time appreciate